Good morning everyone, Liz here at the Mix and Ball Homestead. Today we're going to go over the 10 seats that you can start indoors if you are in Zone 7. I am in Maryland, Zone 7-8, Southern Maryland. For my area, the last Friday is usually around the middle of April, but for some reason they've moved it and now they're saying that it's going to be April 9. I'm not going to put these seats outside until probably a week or two after uh, my last Friday, just to be sure, because here in Maryland we have that fluctuation where like you feel like in sometimes in spring might be summer and then before you know you go back to winter so I'm going to make sure that I don't run the risk of killing my little seedlings so with that being said let's go ahead and get started let me show you those 10 seeds okay the first seed that we're going to sow is going to be lettuce and I have four different varieties of lettuce here so we're going to use this Landis winter and this Four Season Marvelous, as well as this Merlot. Now, um, this Iceberg Lettuce, I had this pack for a long time and I have not been able to grow it. Uh, it's a container variety, so I'm gonna plant it in my raised bed to see if it does well there. These three, they can be planted outdoors after the danger of frost have passed. They have to be sown a quarter of an inch um, and a quarter of an inch deep and um, they take about seven to ten days to germinate. Now this particular one says to sow directly outdoors um, in containers. I also have this Paris Islands um, which is a romaine type of lettuce, also a container variety. I probably will go ahead and attempt to use those seeds as well um, but I'm not sure. These four for sure. this is the second seed that we're going to be growing uh, which is broccoli i have this regular um, broccoli head um, and this is i per, i believe it's pronounced this chico this is a chinese broccoli and i believe it's pronounced um, jot fa but i don't know for sure as well as broccoli rabbit or rab and then uh, early purple sprouting um, these three right here are my favorite um, but we still want to see if we can germinate this older pack of seeds Yeah, the third set of seed that we're going to be sowing is our cauliflower and we have this green macerata this early snowball and purple of sicily um, now um, i'm planting a lot of broccoli and a lot of cauliflower because i want to be able to freeze them okay and then this ones will sprout these two will sprout in seven to ten days and this one um, eight to ten days so i went ahead and um, sow all seeds all three at the same time Okay, so number four is cabbage. I have these two which are left over from um, last fall um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use them and hopefully I can get them to grow um, during the spring. I did not have any success with this particular ones um, in the fall, so perhaps they need a cooler weather. Um, and I'm also I'm going to grow this red acre um, cabbage seeds. Um, this one's came from the Honest Seed Company. And all three of these will take about seven to 10 days to germinate. Number five is hot peppers. Um, peppers take a long time to germinate, so I want to start them indoor as soon as possible. Um, so I have selected these varieties mainly from the Honest Seed Company. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the Caribbean red habanero, the Thai hot chili, lemon habanero peppers. I've never had this one, um, so I'm interested to see um, what this tastes like. Um, the red scotch bonnet pepper, and uh, hot cayenne long peppers. Um, I'm also going to be uh, using these seeds. This ones I'm pretty sure I got them at the dollar store uh, and I grew these ones in Florida and these are the serrano chili so I want to go ahead and use these peppers and then um, I'm pretty sure that I also um, tasted this before um, in Florida perhaps so I went ahead and order um, a pack of that um, and I want to see how that goes. Now I've heard a lot about this Peach Carolina Reaper um, and it's supposed to be way hotter than the regular habanero so I'm interested to see how hot this thing is. Uh, most of the food that my husband consumes um, is extremely extremely um, spicy. I cannot take that much spice but he can so hopefully um, this will be something that we can grow for him to make his um, Nigerian stews. Okay, so number six is going to be the sweet peppers or our bell peppers. Um, these ones right here are mainly um, seeds that I saved during this um, summer months, which I purchased in bulk from a local farmer 
and also from the international market uh, so this is a blend orange yellow and red um, small peppers and they're sweet they're quite small they're just about maybe about two inches and then I have this Marconi sweet um, bell pepper and then large green bell peppers and this one it was called um, emerald red bell pepper um, then I also have this too that I've had <laughs> for a little while now try to see if I can use this um, pepper seeds um, before they go bad so this is a carnival blend and this is a grand bell uh, mixed color and with bell peppers I also have this uh, red bell pepper and this California Wonder orange bell peppers that I got from the Honest Seed Company Okay, number seven is tomatoes. I got a variety of tomatoes that I want to utilize and to try to see if I can make a different type of tomato sauce. Definitely want to eat some fresh, but the majority of these tomatoes are going to be turned into tomato sauce and tomato puree. Um, so with that being said, I have a San Marzano tomato and a beefsteak tomato that I got from the Honest Seed Company. Uh, these two right here, these three right here were purchased, I believe, from um, the, from Home Depot, and this is a um, this is a super sweet cherry tomato, a tomato delicious, and Roma tomatoes. These ones over here, I believe, they came from Plant Abundance, if I'm not mistaken, and I ordered them online. These are also Roma tomatoes. This one is new to me. This one is from Baker Creek Terracotta, so I am interested to see what this is going to taste like. The San Marzano tomato and the beefsteak tomato are also new to me so i will be um, looking forward to um, growing them so uh, we shall see how they do okay so number eight are asian greens uh, this tiny um, bok choy and the purple lady bok choy also this um, shanghai green choy and tat soy and believe it or not these greens freeze beautifully you do have to freeze them individually you have to wash them pat dry them really nice and then freeze them individually in layers once you freeze them you can use them on your stir fries in your soups or your smoothies so I will do a video on how to freeze them uh, once they start coming up so that you know how to preserve them but they will they do freeze beautifully these two onions right here I believe they are long day onions this is actually a kind of sort of like a bunching onion ishikura and the yellow sweet onions it doesn't say whether it's a long or short day onion but most sweet onions I believe um, they are long day onions um, I am in the zone for an intermediate um, onions. However, based on my latitude, I am able to grow long day onions. So, so I'm gonna give them a try and see how they um, come up. I am a little bit late. I, I would have loved to sow this seed last month or maybe uh, like December, but um, again, it's one day at a time. We can only do as much as we can. So if they don't produce bulbs, I hope at least I can you know, harvest them for their um, for the greens all right so these are the onions and I'm gonna to have to purchase more um, for the fall okay so our last seed number 10 is celery this Chinese pink is very tall but it's a little bit skinnier um, on the stalk compared to the green one so I am looking forward to seeing how um, this um, how this grows um, and I know it's gonna not only taste good but it's gonna probably look really really pretty out in the garden as well most of the celery said it takes 15 to 20 days to germinate so um, we shall see how they do um, I have never grown celery so I am looking forward to that as well and there you have it these are the 10 seeds and the different varieties for each one of them that we are going to be planting uh, for our spring and summer garden some of these you can actually grow all the way through uh, maybe the middle of March um, but the majority of them will have to be ready to be transplanted um, also in March uh, with the except of course of like the peppers and the tomatoes so we shall see how they do so with that being said let's go ahead and get started
then I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so pick one more lettuce. Is this one already? Nope. It looks like that. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to put them on this row right like here. Like in sign language? In sign language? Hmm, wonder. Now you're going to put your label right at the front and make sure you cover them all with your finger. Lightly, okay? Very lightly. Gonna do broccoli the seco. Okay. Pick one of these three. Which one do you want? Okay, that's the one. Put your hand like a little cup. Yes, thanks, bye. Softly, don't don't dig him in. I pray they come up. <laughs> oh, tiny helpers, gotta love them. Okay, so this is everything that we uh, were able to sew today. Um, down here at the bottom are pretty much the onions, the peppers, um, the celery, and the container with the sweet potatoes. Then on this side we have our tomatoes and some of our greens. And then same um, at the top we have another road as well. And I'm not sure if you can see the condensation on those building already. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit closer. Right now the room is 70 degrees uh, with the heat mats and the lights. Um, I do not have any heater on at this point. I will turn the lights off probably within the next two hours um, just to allow them to warm up a little bit and remain a little bit warm um, throughout the night um, because this room again is unheated. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean things up and call it this a successful day or night or both. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching the Mix and Ball Homestead. And as always, until next time, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. It's my prayer for you. Y'all have a nice day.